Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Rash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yeshurala that rule well. And salutations to you, Akim, out there in the highways and the byways, preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. This is the brother Shakal. The brother Rupaya. Uh, out here from the GMS Chicago camp, coming at you with another, with another lesson. And basically, uh, what we're going to touch on today is going to be on, uh, you know, doing the work the work of the Lord the right way. You know, not not uh, uh, you know the way we think it's right or, you know, another way, but doing it exactly how, how it is written. Because you have a lot, a lot of individuals that think they're doing the work of the Lord, but they're actually not doing anything. You know, they're doing uh, 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 the, the contrary. And those are going to be the, the same guys that when the Lord comes back, they're going to say, oh, uh, have we not prophesied in thy name? And, and guess what the Lord is going to tell them? Hey, uh, uh, depart from me, you wicked servant. I never knew you. Why? Because at the end of the day, they weren't really doing the work of the Lord, man. You know, they were doing it uh, uh, their own way. Right. Just like, um, you know, an architect, you know, he gives the blueprint, the plans to his construction workers to build a house. He wants it done a certain way. All right. Very meticulous. Not the way, you know, you want it to be. But this is Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So, you know, if you're doing this work, you know, because you have other motives, you know, and not the way the Lord wants you to do it. I mean, you're going to be one of those guys that cry out, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Didn't we prophesy in your name? And that's what's scary about this this work, man. You got to be very sincere to do this work, all right? You you really got to want to do it and do it correctly. You know, reading and studying, all right? Going into the words, all right? Because, hey, we're preparing, uh, you know, food for thought. You know what I mean? For the elect. We, we're becoming spiritual chefs in this thing, you see? And it takes time, right? You can't just whip up a meal like some GMO fast food. You know, you got to do it uh, with time and consideration and love, all right? Because, you know, the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to really want to do this and you got to want to do it the right way, the correct way. And there's only one way, you see? And we've entered into other men's labors. The apostles and others are great millstone. They've showed us the way and that's the blueprint we have to follow. Yeah, you know, uh, like like the verse saying, you have the guys that are, you know, completely doing something different. Then you have the guys also that, you know, it might look like they're doing the right thing, but they're not really, you know, uh, on it like they should. You know, they're not they're building with the right builders, but they're they're not putting the the, the, the correct effort. You know, so hey, we, we, we have to do it, you know, uh, correctly to the best of our ability. This is uh, second, second Timothy two, and uh, I could just hit the point, verse five. It says, "And if a man also strive for the masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully." Mm. So you, you're not, we're not gonna get a crown unless we do this work the right way, man. Yeah. There's no point in, 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 in you're half-assing. If you're doing the work and you're half-assing, man, because the Lord is going to tell you the same thing. Hey, depart from me, you wicked servant, man. You know the, the Lord says that that uh, blessed is he when his Lord comes, shall find he shall find so doing. Right. You know, so we we got to be uh, on point when it comes to doing this work, doing doing this work uh, in the right spirit, the, with the right motives. You yep. know, uh, being diligently in it. Yep. You know, uh, making sure we stick to what we were uh, uh, taught. Right, sound doctrine. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's to edify the flock, the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? A lot of these guys that fall out or get kicked out, they end up always, always changing the doctrine. All right, always bike bag, ba uh, bike, uh, bad bike, sorry, yeah, back bite into water. All right, their elders uh, before them, you know? And that's not the way, man. You see? But they wax worse and worse over time, you see? Because now they think they're on a level. They have a sense of pride. And yet, the pride has been pointed out, but they themselves don't acknowledge it. 
That's why they, they're going to be confounded in that day, man. They're right. going to think, they're going to proudly walk towards the Lord and think, okay, yeah, we got, we got, we got a place in the chariot. And the chariot's going to be like, yo, what you doing? Like, How, what do you, no, yeah. get away. Yeah. How'd you get in here with no garment? Right. You know, you know the, those are the guys we don't want to be, man. We want to be the ones that did everything right. And the Lord, you know, gladly it takes us in, you know? Yep. Lord willing. God. Um, where's the one where it says, remember whom thou hast learned? Whom yeah. Thou hast learned from? Yeah, yep, yep. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. Uh, you know what? No, 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 Let me, all right, let me start at 13, actually. 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, you know? Here does they have evil, these evil spirits talking to them, thinking that the Lord's dealing with them, like the Lord's telling them these things, you know, but you're leading them off astray. And those that follow them, follow that same path into the destruction but verse 14 but but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them you see because yeah there's situations where where uh, certain men have been kicked out all right and yet they continue the work you see and the lord brought them back you know a lot of these guys don't continue the work or they change up the work you know to fit their new doctrine you see, which is unprofitable, man. And that's where that 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 that, uh, that scripture, man. That, you know, Lord, Lord, that's that scary part, man. You know, because we're all trying to, we're all hoping to make it. But if you're doing this work deceitfully, thinking you're doing the right thing, thinking you're on a level, you're just deceiving yourselves, man. Those that are following you. Not only are you going to be destroyed for that, but now you have other men's blood on you, man. So, and you know better So you'll be being with, with many stripes You know Man That's why you gotta really know What you're a part of You gotta count the cost Understand what you're involved in Okay Cause this is not a light thing man This is the work and business of the Heavenly Father man You know So we gotta treat it as such You see you, you, When you go to work for Esau all right, you you how's that? You you cross your T's and dot your I's. Yeah. You you're trying to be on point for Esau. How much more for the Lord? All right. Yeah. Hey, I mean, the, when you read the scriptures, you know when they build a tabernacle or you know the house of the Lord, the Lord was very precise in how He wanted certain things. So the Lord told us how He wants us to do His work, and we got to do it. You know. Right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7. I'll start at verse 21. This is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai speaking, okay? It's in red. And it reads, Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? You see? And that's the scarier part for a lot of these guys, man. Because a lot of these guys think that the Lord is dealing with them. All right? They, they believe that the Lord is uh, uh, with them and, and that they themselves are on a level. All right? Because they're doing some form of the work, but it's not the correct way. All right? You know what I'm saying? Here it is. If you have a problem with your brother, you exercise Matthew 18, cha 18 18th chapter. Sorry, it's like it, right? Some of these guys don't even do that. They, they they sit on the outside talking all their their BS, calling others reprobates, you know, but they themselves are reprobates, man. They can't receive correction, all right? They can't receive the love of the, the Heavenly Father, you know? The Lord, man... The Lord, you know, chastened those that He loves, man, he, like like sons. You see. Yeah, this is Galatians one and six. It says, uh, "I marvel that ye are so soon removed from Him that had called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel, 
which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. You know, it's like the brother was saying, it's not it's not a different gospel, you're just doing it a different way, they're twisting it. It's the same gospel that, that we use, but they're adding their own little things to it, man. You know, and yeah, at the same time, thinking they're doing the will of the Lord. But because because they're not, they're really not, and doing it deceitfully, hey, the Lord is going to judge them for that, man. <clears throat> we got to stick to what we learn. We got to stick to what, how we were taught. And we have a certain revelation or whatever, hey, we take it up on top and let the Lord reveal it, man. You know? And, and we, we fail, hey, we get back up. But we, we can't stay in, in, in a in the spirit of just doing how we think it's right knowing that 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 the, the scriptures say otherwise man because if not you're doing your 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 labor of love the lord's not going to remember that because it's not our labor of love yeah you know? you're not doing it how he you know uh, uh wants you to do it you know that's it um let's see what? Uh, I could keep reading it says, But though we or an angel from heaven Preach any other gospel unto you Than that which we have preached unto you Let him be accursed As we said before So say now ag again If any man preach any other gospel Unto you Than that ye have received Let him be accursed You know So if, if whoever is doing that Even though they might bring out scriptures And you know They're going against the ones that taught them Or not doing it the right way Being slothful Hey, you guys are going to be cursed, man. You know, uh, th there's another scripture that says, uh, let them be uh, an uh, anathema. Uh, and, uh, oh, um, you know, and that basically means destruction. You know, in other words, let them be destroyed, man. You know? This one? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. 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 let um, yes, there it is. Yes, the water you hold by Shiva First Corinthians 16, verse 22. If any man love not the Lord Yahweh Mashiach, let him be anathema maranatha, which means basically means destroyed, man. Let him be destroyed, you know. Because at the end of the day, you're if you're doing it your own way, the scriptures tell you to be diligent, to be to be um. Of discipline and so on and so forth, and you're not doing that. It, then you, you, you're you're not you're not really loving the Lord, man. You know you're doing it your own way, right? You know, and, and, and you're gonna be cursed for that, man. Because here it is, you're playing, you know, with the work of the Lord when we're supposed to, you know, take it uh, uh, serious and hold it as 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 our most prized possession. Right. That's right. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapurash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule and who taught us his truth and salutations to the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa Ababa Ba.